Good afternoon, Nora Triola here, giving you your CEO broadcast for February 12th, 2021. We've got a couple of important topics to cover. And first wanted to highlight some new information um, from the CDC about improving our fit and filtration of masks worn in the community. You might hear this in the news and it might be called, uh, you know, double masking. Uh, the CDC has updated their guidance as of yesterday to talk about how the virus is airborne. And some of the masks that we've selected in our comfort masks may not always fit closely around our face and may let some of the virus in. And so the CDC is encouraging us <clears throat> to use a mask that makes sure to fit closely around our nose and our cheeks and doesn't have gaps on the side and also is of a significant weight so that there's multiple layers of filtration so that any particles that you have don't get out uh, as well into the community. And so uh, we want you to be aware of this. It's, um, it's called the double masking. We don't want you to only uh, use a double mask. You might need a comfort mask on top of a, a cloth mask on top of a disposable mask to get that good fit, but that's only one strategy in how to get that good fit. There'll be more tools coming to show you how to tie little knots and how to how to get that, that seal um, so that it's good and tight on your face as well as that it's a, a good filtration. Um, this doesn't in any way, shape, or form change the at-a-glance tool or the PPE requirements. So uh, really talks about when we would use this, would be in the communities, on your off time, as well as in our service office and support offices. So uh, again, to keep you safe and our clients safe, new guidance on fit and filtration of masks to be worn in the community. Uh, so that's the latest update from CDC. The next update is some exciting news as you all have been working so hard to get yourself up to speed on vaccine availability and to, to get your shot when you can. Uh, we now have a vaccine tracking method. Um, it's in Workday. And um, if that term is unfamiliar to you, no worries. What we wanna capture is four simple things. Uh, the two dates, uh, the first and second dose, the actual type of vaccine, and a copy of the card. So if you happen to be comfortable working in a workday, you'll be amazed at how easy this is for you to self-report and put those four pieces of data in. If not, just make sure your manager has a copy of your card, your vaccine card, and they'll go ahead and put it in workday for you. Uh, obviously, this is really important for us to know where we need to increase um, advocacy and access to vaccines, as well as where we might need some education. And so uh, please let's, let's have a, um, a real lot of energy around getting your vaccine uh, card uh, updated in the system so we can know just how many uh, employees across our company are vaccinated. Uh, on the heels of that, remember that uh, shortly uh, you'll be getting the link to uh, the survey for our employees to complete. Um, and, and that starts on the 15th and uh, we'll include more information in the bulletin, but uh, that's really uh, important for us to get your feedback, to understand what's working, what's not working, and to get a little, a couple of additional questions answered about uh, vaccines. So. Uh, stay tuned for that. Look for it on the 15th. And we, again, are grateful for your, your uh, information and all that feedback that you give us during our employee surveys. And as we always do on our, our Friday is close out with gratitude. Um, as, as you know, we've been asking for photos and we've been asking to hear stories about individuals who have uh, gone ahead and gotten vac vaccinated. And um, this is a wonderful quote from Vanessa Williams, who happens to be one of our clinical managers in, in Philadelphia. And she says, she found my spot uh, to get my shot. And uh, she put aside her fears uh, so that she could protect everyone around me. 
Uh, we're all in this together. So why not do my part so that we can together get through this? Um, great words of advice. Um, it's that uh, sense of community, the sense of neighborhood and, and loving thy neighbor. And so Vanessa, shout out to you for uh, getting the vaccine and uh, keeping both yourself and uh, the clients you serve and, and others safe. And for all those that have um, gone and gotten vaccinated, uh, well done. And for those of you that are looking, please keep looking and get your vaccine. Uh, together, this is the light at the end of the tunnel and we will get through this together. Have a great week, stay safe, and uh, we'll be back next week with another update.